Right, hello everybody and welcome back to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to Sandy Bay here on Farming Simulator 17. So today, it is still currently autumn, it's the very, very last day of autumn. Now you see it says late autumn 6th and there's only 6 days in a season because I've got it set to that. Um, now I know I told you guys it was going to be winter next time you join us, however, something's come up. We were meant to be enjoying our day off today off camera, but unfortunately, um, one of our neighbours, old man Jenkins, first name I could think of, um, is Fellio. He can't do his yearly duties of helping out the local community in the cold winter time. So we're going to go ahead and help him today. So we're taking down some fresh eggs, not the YouTuber. We're taking down some actual product. Oh, wait, get in you. Chicken's always trying to run away here. It's going to squash him with the gate. So there we go. So we're going to take these down, seeing as uh, might warm up his cockles while he's uh, bedridden, basically. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and take him down. So welcome back. So it's literally the temperature has dropped so much now. If I just get up the HUD here, you can see the air temperature is down to 5 degrees and the soil temperature is down to 6 degrees. So hopefully our winter barley is still growing away. Forgot to put the touch truck away. Um, yeah, hopefully our winter barley is still growing away. And um, it should do. We should be able to harvest it early springtime-ish. Um, that's all we're waiting for, really. we got to go ahead and fertilize it one more time. And uh, just wait for that. So, um... Yeah, basically, what he does is, Old Man Jenkins, what he does is he, um, he usually chops down trees and uh, sells the, the firewood, basically. Um, unfortunately, he's not able to do that because he's uh, a bit ill, like I just said, so we said we'll go help and help him do that. We'll go ahead and help him do that. Um, now, fortunately, we're not doing it completely free. We are taking a cut of this because there's quite a lot of money in the wood here on uh, Sandy Bay. There we go. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'll drive up to his place and I'll see you guys in a second. Boop. Right, okay everybody, so we're just coming up towards his place now. Now, um, one thing I should warn you before we get there is... Um, oh, Jenkins is very old school, so don't be expecting uh, brand new shiny fast tracks and John Deere's like we have back at the farm. Very old school. Um, he has got a newish tractor, which he was forced to buy... Uh, for power reasons, I think, because he's also got a little, little bit... He does some other stuff, basically. And uh, his tractor, which he's had for many, many years, unfortunately, couldn't really power it that well. So, um, yeah, he was forced to buy a new one. So, we'll hopefully, we'll get to use that as well. So, here he is. He lives in the old mill, which, unfortunately, in this day and age, doesn't really provide anything different. It doesn't really provide a service. So, he still owns it. But, um... So these must be the trees that he's got available. He got some other ones on the other side, but uh, I think we're taking these down today, maybe. So there's his windmill, and here is his house. And here's all his equipment. Yay! So uh, I'll just quickly show you around before we go and uh, go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and turn the truck off here. So, um, yeah. This is his equipment. He's got an old Zetor... What is this? A 4511. A 4511. Um... The inside, if I just show you this, we can open it from the outside, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so, very old school, but I think he bought this brand new, so it's done very, very well. He's done well at maintaining it. This is his new attractor. This is the Sammy Argon 75. Um, actually, maybe he bought this for the three-point at the front. That could have been the case. Maybe he needed a three-point on the front. Um, but this isn't even completely sealed. You can get him through the back. Makes it pointless having a cab, but there we go. So, um... Yeah, let's go ahead and give him his eggs, and uh, we'll head out and do some work. So, he paid for them. Right, so what I'm going to do real quick is jump into the uh, the pickup truck here. We'll go ahead and get the back lower down. Actually, no, change the plan. Change the plan. What we're going to do is start up the pickup truck again. I think we're going to pull the trailer. There's no point in hooking it up to a... Uh, actually, no, we can do. Yeah, we will. Scrap the truck, we'll get out in a minute. So what we're going to do first of all is, this must be what he chops up the wood with. This is a circular saw driven by PTO shaft, which is pretty cool. So we'll jump in to the uh, to the tractor. See if we can get some uh, power out of this old girl. Let's just reset the head tracking minute. Oh, <laughs> and she's away. Yeah, not really something we're used to driving here on the farm. We usually got our nice shiny fast tracks and all that good stuff, but this will do. We could have technically bought our own tractor, but... Uh, they're doing some maintenance at the moment. We're getting them all ready for the next year, next season. All right, so we're going to back up and get this hooked up. There we go. Uh, perfectly aligned. 
We'll uh, take this down. Oh, come on, you can do it. There we go. Bit of a slow acceleration on this thing, but it will do. So, um, yeah, we are going to go ahead and park this up next to the trees. And then we need to go get the trailer as well, actually. So we do need the trailer after all. Oh, there we go. We'll park this somewhere around here, I reckon. So do nicely. Stop. There we go, we'll get the... Actually, I think we need to go a little bit more flat than that. So we'll just flatten ourselves out. There we go. We'll lower the table down. Now, unfortunately, we do have to leave this thing running, so hopefully you guys can hear me, because she's very loud. Right, let's go ahead and get the PTO connected here. There we go. And, um... Yeah. Now we need to go ahead and get the Same. We'll get the Same. We could have brought it down on the truck, but I don't want to risk scratching it, so we'll use his uh, little Same here. We'll get this one booted up. I feel like we're really low on this truck, though. I might need to adjust the camera at some point. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure why he got this tractor. It's very modern considering his other one, but I'm sure it's fine for what he needed. Terrible turning circle on this thing, though. Nope. Right, let's go ahead and back this up again. Here we go. Let's jump out and get this hooked up. Awesome. So hopefully this can actually handle what we want it to do today. And we'll take this down and park it next to the Zetor then. Now, I'm not exactly sure how you say Zetor. Some people say Zetor, some people say Zetor. I don't really care. It's just, I'd say... Sometimes I just change, and I don't know why. It's just... Like, when I know how to properly say it, Z or Zetor. Zetor or Zetor, one of the two. Then we'll uh, start playing it the proper name. Now, can we open the back of this thing? Let's have a look. Right, so no, unfortunately, you can't open the back of this. We don't really need it open, but uh, just thought we'd check anyway. Let's try to jump back into the Zetor real quick. We'll go ahead and get her uh, booted up. Get that PTO spin in there. See the RPMs have uh, gone up a little bit. So he's spinning away. We can go ahead and remove the safety clip. There we go. And we'll make a start on this. So, um... Actually, we'll get quite low here. Actually, we need it to fall... Uh, we need it to fall this way, don't we? Yeah. We'll get it to fall this way. I'm not going to bother doing the wedge because I don't think Farm Sim even pays attention to the normal wedge when you're doing that. On the, when you're doing forestry on this game. So we're just going to go ahead and cut a slice. Tim. Hello? Push! <laughs> right, that's not going to work. Take another chunk out of it. Hopefully, this will work now. Oh, she's away! Timber! Oh, she need to hit the tractor then. Oh, it's this bit here that we just cut off is uh, useless. So we'll go ahead and chuck this into the back straight away. There we go. Right, so let's make a start on this tree then. So, um... Basically, we want long, even-sized logs, if we can. Um, we're not as um, experienced as uh, Jenkins, so we probably aren't going to do a good of a job, but as long as it gets done, that's absolutely fine. We want to get the uh, branches off first, actually, because I can't actually see what I'm doing properly. So we'll make a start on these uh, branches here. Come on. Where's the rest of them? There we go. Now for those of you that are quite new to Farm Sim, after a while, you will start to know where these little uh, shrubbery bits are because they're like attached to the log, but not quite the log. They're usually lower quality than the log as well, like texture quality. There we go. Let's see if we can get down without breaking our neck. <laughs> Pretty sure that's not what you do in real life, but um, there we go. Can't get this piece, can we? Oh, yeah, we did get it. Cool. So I'm going to leave these bits here because they're currently keeping the tree. Uh, actually, no, change my mind again. We won't. We'll actually just cut these off. There we go. Nice and close to the uh, log. Ooh! Health and safety isn't a thing. Don't worry. We don't. We we don't care about health and safety. <laughs> right. Let's go ahead and get. This log cut off. There we go. Um, go on this side a minute. Let's cut this one. So obviously, I'm going to be turning the wheel cam off for this part because we're not using a wheel. So I don't want. So hopefully, people will actually ask. I know someone's going to ask in the comments just to be sarcastic, but yeah, if the wheel cam's turned off, it's because we're not using the wheel. Right, let's go ahead and cut this. There we go. So 
there's one nice piece there. We'll get this piece cut off as well. I wish you could look around whilst you're cutting. That would just disappeared. Oh, that's interesting. There we go. Finally cut this last piece off here. Look at that plane going past. That's interesting. Right, so let's try and do this then, shall we? So um, we'll cut this piece here in half. There we go. And then we'll try. And in fact, I think I've turned my, um, my thing off. Be a moment. There we go. So my uh, crosshair was turned off for some reason. Right, let's go ahead and cut this. There we go. There's our first piece. Second piece. So this is what we basically got to do. We just got to do loads of these, unfortunately. But um, then we'll take him to all the, the customers that he has. I'm pretty sure it's just a couple of uh, cottages down there sort of thing. So not far away at all. Get these loaded up into there. Um, I don't think this bit here is worth putting in. So we're going to save this one for the chipper. Because he uh, also sells wood chips as well. Uh, right here, I reckon. Probably put it in half as well. There we go. We'll get this bit here picked up. In fact, this is probably the normal size, but we'll cut it anyway. In fact, I don't think it'll let us. I think it's a little bit too small, this one. Yep, so this one is too small, so we'll put that back in there. This one's probably going to be too small as well, I should imagine. Yep, so we actually cut them to the right size, which is ideal. Um, now this is going to be the hard bit. I think this is a bit... Yeah, this bit is going to be for the chipper as well. Um... So now we've got to make a start on this straight piece. We'll go to about here, because I'm pretty sure it's just going to make the top bit disappear anyway. There we go. So that bit's disappeared. That's not something I can help, unfortunately. That's just how the game, what the game does with the small pieces. There we go. So there's a piece. We'll cut this in half, maybe. Like so. Now if we can pick this up, which we can, we'll take it over to the... Uh, to the chipper, uh, to the sword, sorry. There we go, so there's that piece. Drop it on the floor for now, let's see if we can cut this in half. Again, I want to reposition myself for that a little bit. There we go. Cool. So there we go, the sword knees up. So these, this um, set is available on Modhosa, I will put a link in the uh, mod list. For those of you that want to go ahead and do some, uh, some sawing or whatever. Why is this not cutting in half? There we go. Get that chucked into there. I do like... Oh gosh. What happened then? We just chucked one across the map. Um, I do like the sound of that Zetor, I must admit. Sounds pretty nice. Now this bit is going to be really heavy, so we're going to start at this end again. Oh, this bit didn't disappear. Was this just the bit we cut? I'm confused. Let's go ahead and cut this piece as well. There we go. Drop that piece on the floor. Awesome. Some of you might find this a bit repetitive, but um, as you know, winter is around the corner. So this is going to warm up everyone's cockles. There we go. Let's chuck that in there. Chuck that in there. We're making a good start here. So these bits here, because they're kind of thin and they're actually like bent as well, we're just going to chip them up. And uh, I'm not sure what he does with the wood chips, to be fair. Maybe they're used for, like, smoking or something? I don't know. Maybe he's got a smoker. We'll soon find out. Right. Let's cut this piece as well. Awesome. Drop that down. So once again, I hope the um, tractor isn't too loud. It seems a bit too loud in my ears, but of course I can turn it down when I'm editing this all together. Uh, does this bit... This might be like too small to cut in half, actually. We'll soon find out. Oh, it is working. There we go. Oh, gosh, what happened then? There we go. It worked anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'll carry on getting this chopped up, and uh, we'll move on to our next task.
Right, okay, everybody, so we've got this tiny little branch here. Now, I did think that we'd have to get two trees into that trailer, but it looks like we're going to get away with doing one trailer load today, so we'll have to do the rest off camera. Or maybe if you always want to see it again, we'll do it in another video. Let me know in the comment section. I'm not sure we actually cut that then, did we? Yeah, we did. Right, so this is our last very piece here. Our very last piece here. Sorry, I'm all over the place today. I haven't had my morning coffee. Let's drop that there a minute. Uh, can we cut this one off again? Yeah, but the top bit disappeared. Fantastic. There we go. Um, well, should we just leave this in here? So there we go. There is our first trailer full of logs. So we need to uh, sell these now. Um, I'm not sure we can get this piece out of here. Let's have a look. No, we'll have to get the... Um, well, I'm not sure how Jenkins does it usually, but uh, we've only got two scrap pieces today, which is fantastic. Uh, I thought we'd have a lot more than that. So what I am going to do is put these into the trailer real quick, just to take them over. Oh. There we go. Don't want it falling off. Just take them over to the, uh, the windmill again. Saves us bringing it down here. Then taking it back up. Right, let's go ahead and get these straps on here. Not happy with this one, actually. So we're going to go ahead and reposition this one. There we go. Get that over, get it over, get it over, get it over. Awesome. Let's get the uh, safety thing back on there. Right. So we get it turned off here. Get it lifted up. I want to remove the PTO once again. Just so it doesn't break when we're moving. So I'll take this back to the yard, to his yard. So there we go. It was um, we still got to sell them yet, and I also want to quickly chip up those little scrap pieces we've got. Um, I am gonna have to do more trees off camera. I don't know if you guys want to see them, so please let me know if you do. Maybe you've enjoyed this. Uh, we're not, I don't know why I'm acting like we're about to finish. We're not. We still got some stuff to do, but that's the um, chopping up done at least. Right. Let's go ahead and get that lowered down like that. Get disconnected here. Awesome. PTO's back on there nice and safe. Now. Oh, that was the wrong gear simulate. Well done, sir. What I want to do real quick is get the chipper all hooked up. Now, we're not going to bother putting the chips into a trailer because I do have a future episode planned. Um, which involves coming back down here to do some work for Jenkins. Alright, let's just pull forward a little bit here. There we go. Get it hooked up. What way is the pipe on, by the way? This side, I think. Yep. So what we'll do is we'll position ourselves about here, maybe. Yeah, about here. Back up. Back up. Awesome. We want to be on concrete to make this easier for ourselves. So we'll go ahead and lower that down. What I am going to do is connect that whilst we're here, before we forget. And I'll quickly run down and get the trailer of logs. Look at that. Nice little setup we've got here. I don't know why he doesn't just keep modern tractors. Maybe it's time to upgrade his uh, Zetor, but... You know what the older folk are like? They know best. Right, so hopefully we're not going to lose any logs today. We should still have both of the uh, scrag end bits. Let's go up here. Yeah, this camera's definitely too low. I might need to fix that. This is not my mod. This Sammy is available on the mod hub under the beta section if you're playing on, uh, on console. Uh, on PC, sorry. I don't know why I said that. It's not on console, I don't think. Right. Can we get these pieces? No, we cannot. Let's quickly get these straps off then. Alright. Let's go ahead and turn this on. So there we go, the wood chipper is on. Now once again, we're not putting them into a trailer today. It doesn't really matter that much yet. Because um, we are going to be doing more logs at some point. So we'll just get this into the chipper. There we go. Why? And the rest. Go on, take it all. Eat it! Okay, that just disappeared. That was weird. Uh, we'll quickly get this last... Oh, that's the wrong log. Come on. There we go. Get rid of this. These are like weird spider legs or something. I'm going to start calling these the spider legs. So we'll get rid of this last spider leg. Technical terms, yo. Um, so we'll put this into the chipper. There we go. So we got a nice... Well, that is really small, actually. But it will be bigger in the future. And that was it. That's all we wanted to do. 
I thought we'd have a bigger pile than that, but never mind. Get the PTO disconnected again. Back this back up into the corner. Oh, sort of lost control there. I think this might be a little bit too heavy for this tractor. Never mind. Back up. Come on. There we go. That's more like it. Slow it down. Awesome. I'll leave us here for now. We'll get this uh, closed up here. Where's the mouse? There it is. So we go. And um, what I do want to do is I don't actually want to use the Sam Acre on the road because it's really slow, this thing. So we're going to see if we can get it hooked up to the Hilux. If we can get it turned around first of all, that is. I did put the straps on, so hopefully none of the logs fall out whilst we're turning around here. This turning circle is terrible. There we go. We're stuck on something. Four -wheel, luckily this thing does have four-wheel drive. Right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and disconnect that. We're kind of jackknifing then. For some reason, this tractor is just a bit weird. The turning circle on it is horrible. We'll get this turned off. For now, we will be coming back and using it later, so I'll tidy up the yard for him later on. Let's get these straps on once again. I think that was it. Is only the four? Yes. Right, now we'll see if we can get our shiny new truck. Right, we'll see if we can get our shiny new truck hooked up to this trailer now. Where's the trailer hitch? It's over here. Right. One thing is not very good with this uh, truck is you can't really reverse that well because you just look at the back of the seat. <laughs> so that's not ideal. But we'll just reverse this up now. Right, there we go. Hook that up. Right, now hopefully, like I said, these are still here. So we'll deliver our first bunch of logs right now, and then uh, probably do the come up and get some more later on. Awesome. So yeah, that's basically what every, every year, that's what Old Man Jenkins does. Um, he basically just gets all log woods, gives it to all the, um, oh gosh, gives it to all of the local... There we go. I had to reset the head track again, and it keeps going off for some reason. But yeah, he gives it to all the local cottages and stuff that have uh, log fires. Just keep them nice and warm over the winter. These are new houses. Oh gosh, these are new houses here. These are, uh, I believe they're only like a year old, these little cottages, uh, these little bungalows here. I don't believe they used to be there last year when I was around here. So, um, they should have all central heat and all that good stuff, so I don't think they need any. But our clientele is just down the road here, so it's not a long drive at all. If this car is up, I'm pretty sure the speed limit's 60, buddy. And you're only going 30. So here is our clients, I believe. Well, his clients. We're just filling in today. So we're indicating into here. Awesome. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Right. Actually, we could have put some more in here. I just realised. Um, so, so actually, we don't need that many per house, I think. I think it's only like four per house, something like that. Let's get this lifted out. These are probably a little bit too big, but... Um, Unfortunately, this is as small as the game would let us go. So we'll deliver these four. And let's see if we can get some more reasonably sized ones here. There's one. Drop that off. Aim. This is... Oh, gosh. Everything's glitching out. There we go. There's another four. Uh, another one, sorry. I can't get this one out. There we go. Drop that down there. And why not this one here as well. I'm assuming there's quite these houses belong to quite old people, so we're just we don't want to give them too heavy logs, basically. Um, I'm trying not for smaller ones here. For this old lady in number one, I can't exactly get it out. There we go, finally. So she's actually got five for some reason. So I miscounted, but there we go. Have another log, love. There you go. Have another log, love. And again. Have another log, love. Uh, one more time. Have another log, love. So who else needs any? Um, this guy here is probably... I don't know. We'll get this cottage here. Right, so I'm going to leave it here anyway, guys. I'm going to carry on getting these logs unloaded and probably chop down another tree and start selling them as well. So um, if you did enjoy this episode, please slap that thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Let me know in the comment section below if you want me to work for Old Man Jenkins once again or help him out. 
Um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to see more from myself. Hit the bell next to the button if you're already subscribed to get notifications from myself. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.